How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today I want to show you my top five large tractors for Farming Simulator 22. Now a little bit of a disclaimer really quickly. The game has been out now for about six months. I am recording this video on June 8th and these are the mods that are available right now. This could change tomorrow. Now I'm not going to show you these tractors in any particular order, but let's go and jump right into it. The first large tractor that we have here today is the Case IH Magnum. AFS US UE series. This is by Caesarius Modding and it was originally released in March 4th of 2022. Now this tractor is available in base game, but Caesarius Modding has turned it up quite a bit. You can see that you can get this in a black color or a red color, and you can get the engine in a 340 all the way up to a 400. And there are multiple, multiple tire combinations that you can get as well. We've got just some regular uh, tires on here. This is the way that it comes as is except for the US customization I went ahead and did that instead of UE and then over here you can see that we got some really really nice detailed tires here and um, You can get it with a quick hitch in the back. You can get it with some monitors I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do to this. It's a really really awesome one I highly recommend it good detail on this thing and it's never let me down on the case farms up next, we have the Adco Vario 1000 US series. This is by Custom Modding, and I haven't showed this off in any of my videos yet, but I have been using this one in the background. It's a really cool one. It just came out about five days ago, and um, it's a really, really nice mod. You have three different versions here. You've got two fence, one in the standard green, or you can get the black beauty right here, or you can get the challenger version right here too. Look at these massive lsws on this thing oh my goodness y'all you can get it in a couple different generations you've got a gen 1 or a gen 2 if you look at the top and the way that the mirrors set on these two right here that's your difference there and i've got these pretty close to the back here you can also see this one doesn't have a quick connect and that one over there does you're going to be able to choose that as an option as well and also you can put a cooler on the inside of this thing and right there on the steering wheel, there's like a little knob that helps you turn the realism factor here on these things for your role playing aspects of the game are really, really cool to see these touches. As you can see, we've got triples on the back and duels up here on the front that is available on all of them on certain tire configurations as well. Guys, if you like Fence or Challenger, I highly recommend picking this one up. And speaking of triples, oh my goodness, look at these monsters right here. Everybody, this is the Big Bud 747-16V. This is by Hispano Modding, and it was originally released in May of 2022. Y'all, you can customize the color on this to any base game color, and then Hispano Modding has also added in a few extra ones. You can customize the rail colors, you can customize the grill, put extra lights on this thing, the rim color, you can even have a band of different color around the uh, rim right there. Triples, doubles, you can even get singles right here. And if you've got something really heavy that you need to pull, this tractor right here comes with 1100 horsepower, guys. So this one, I feel like is going to be absolutely perfect on your larger North American maps. I don't think you're going to be able to get this on the European maps. And I feel like this is just about going to be a need to have tractor on Welker's Farms as soon as Mapper's Paradise gets this thing out to us. Guys, I know they're working on it right now. Stay patient. But until then, go ahead and check out this tractor right here. And if going fast is more your thing, I recommend checking out the JCB Fast Track Pack right here. This thing will go 45 miles an hour. It's by Bandit 36 FR, originally released in March of 2022. And guys, not only can you go fast with it, but you could paint it up in some really, really interesting colors and all the different sections of the tractor, except the main chassis right there, can be painted. Every different color that you see here, the green, the orange, the blue, the purple, and the red can all be customized. Yes, that is absolutely fantastic. Got a light bar up there on the top. Not only that, you can put a front loader on this tractor as well. So if you're not a fan of using semi trucks to get your crops or your equipment around the map, you definitely want to check this one out. 45 miles an hour, everybody. 
And for those of you that didn't think I was going to show John Deere any love, here we have the John Deere 9020 and 9030 series. This is by Sid Modding, originally released in April of 2022. And guys, you can see the 9530 right here in front of me. All the customization on this thing. We've got the US version here. We've got the GPS up on top. Now it's not going to work on console, but it's there as a like role play feature. You can see the rock box here. Some really nice duels on it. Got some weights. Tinted windows, we got extra monitors. You've got a quick hitch here. And if the 9030s aren't your thing and you want the 9020s, well, check this one out too. You can get triples on this thing. Even the singles right here, man, it looks funky, but you can save some serious money by going with this 9020 instead of the 9030. And if you want to save even more money, Sid Modding also has an 8760, 8960 version. The guys, you can get a 370 horsepower tractor for right around $100,000. That is an incredible deal when you're first starting out. Once again, everybody, these are my top five large tractors here for Farming Simulator 22 for the first six months of the game. Now, these may not be yours, and if you've got a different one, let me know down in the comments below which one you like and why you like it. That's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. You want to stay up to date on all my future videos here on the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell too, and while you're waiting on those videos, go ahead and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.